Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this very cool and simple little easy frame in frame effect. As you can see right here, here is what the effect looks like. It's a very simple, very easy little effect, but it can definitely look pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and kind of break down how to create this effect. So let's go ahead, as you can see right here, here it says Patrick Mahomes original frame. Here is basically like the hero shot of the entire um, effect. This is the main clip. So we can go ahead and just copy and paste it um, right over here. Obviously, it can be absolutely any clip um, you want. What you're going to do is you want to cl click on the clip. You want to hold down Option. So hold down Option and drag it up. Or you could copy and paste um, the actual clip. So we're going to go ahead and do is head over here. Make sure it's all centered. Head over to the inspector window and then go to scale and let's just type in 65%. And there you go. That's pretty much how you create the effect. Now there's a whole bunch of ways, you, other ways you could do to make this effect cool. So let's go ahead and go back a little bit and let's just play right here. And as you can see right here, you've created this really cool frame in frame effect. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, well, how do you turn the background black and white? Well, there's plenty of different ways to actually do that. But you can go ahead, go to all and type in black and white. And as you can see right here, you can go ahead and drag this black and white effect onto the actual clip. Now in this example right here, you can see this, you may be asking yourself, okay, what's this purple um, line right here? Well, that is an adjustment layer. Now the reason I use adjustment layers a lot more than I used to is it gives you a lot more manual control. So for example, let's say we'll go ahead and play right here, and let's say right here, I wanted the black and white effect to be gone. Well, if it was applied to the clip, I'd have to take it off, I'd have to like manually cut the clip up, take, take this part of the clip, and then turn off the black and white. But if I had the adjustment layer, I can go ahead and just drag the adjustment layer right here. So that way we can go ahead and play the clip right here, and then the black and white will, there you go, it'll fade back in, or just turn back on. Now, you don't have to use an adjustment layer, but I enjoy using them just because it gives you a lot more manual control um, of your actual videos. So you don't have to, but I like to use an adjustment layer. So you can see this effect is pretty easy. You just have a clip right here, which is your main clip right here. You could put a blur effect, you could change the color, whatever you want on this clip. And then up right here is literally just a copy of this clip put on top. And as you can see right here, it's scaled to 65%. I would say probably scale it between 60 and 70%. If it's too big, uh, let's see, if we scale it too big, it looks kind of looks kind of weird right there. Or if we like scale it this small, it just looks a little bit weird. So of course it depends on what number you want, but 65% I think is pretty much you know, universally, and it looks pretty good, um, universally accepted or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's all up to you, whatever you want to, however you want to create this effect. Uh, this music track is from Epidemic Sound, so definitely go ahead and check out Epidemic Sound if you want music. But that's pretty much how you create the effect. It's literally just a copy, the clip right here, a copy of it on top that's scaled down to like 60, 70%, and then I just have an adjustment layer to turn the, um, the main clip black and white. And that's pretty much how you create this effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy those types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 90 different Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check them out if you want to learn about Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.